Hi, this is Dan from Tradunity and I'm going to show you how to run uh, the MT4 platform on a VPS so that it makes trades for you even when you sleep. We are going to use the VPS from Amazon.com, from Amazon Web Services to be more precise. So first of all, I will ask you to make an Amazon Web Services account. If you need assistance in making the account, you can see the video I posted in the description of this tutorial. There is somebody there who made it a lot better than I would do it. And you can just follow those simple steps. So what you want to do now is to sign into the console, which is the button on the top right. Uh, wait a bit, the console will show up. No, first you need to put in your email and password. And now you are in the Amazon Web Service dashboard. What you want to do now is look for launch a virtual machine. And that's what you are going to do. So do it. So once we're in the next screen, first of all, we're going to choose the region that where we need to have our virtual machine. We need to choose the region which is the closest to where our broker server is. In my case, I'm with Pepperstone London, so I'm going to choose London. But if you don't know which one to choose, the best way is to ask the support of your broker. Just ask them on the support, on chat, on email, they will tell you. Our server is New York, London, Singapore, I don't know, they will tell you and you choose whatever is closest, okay? And now you have this list of uh, eligible uh, virtual machines for the free trial. We're gonna go for the Windows version that is like the, the oldest, in this case 2008, because we don't want a lot of resources to be consumed by the, re by the operating system. We need our resources for our application and you're not gonna use it for anything else, so just choose the smallest one. In this next screen, you just have pre-selected the free tire um, virtual machine and you just press next configure instant details this screen you leave as it is you don't touch it then you add storage and you make sure you have all the storage available the 30 gigabytes allocated in this case it's already been allocated 30 gigabytes allocated to my free tire um, free one year virtual machine okay um, I think, yeah, let's see, next everything can stay the same. This is good too. All right, we can launch now. So now it will ask us to create or use an existing prepare, um, which is an encoded file that will help us decode our password. Our password comes decoded. Choose a name for your for your virtual machine. I call it Tradunity Robot. And then download the key pair and keep it safe. I am putting it in a folder called key pair and I'm going to store it in a very safe place so that I don't lose it. Okay, here we go, save. Yeah, you can see it's PEM, the extension is PEM. Okay, now we're ready to launch. And it says your instances are now launching and we are going to go to the view, view instances. Um, ignore the first row, that was my old virtual machine. Like I right now it says pending. And while it says pending, I'll tell you what our next step is. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to, to get the same results. Uh, what, I will, what I did now and what you should do is to prepare a folder where you have the settings that you're going to use for our robot, our robot, and your MT4 platform uh, from your broker. In my case, I have the Pepperstone UK for the MT4 trading platform that I'm going to use. So just create this folder and put there all the all the resources you need. Now let's go back to our instance and see if it's uh, if it's ready. Yes, you can see it's running. So now we need to connect to it. To connect, simply right click and click connect, and you'll get this dialog box. Now you will need to download the remote desktop uh, connection. I will open the folder where it was downloaded, and uh, yeah, it looks like I put it in the same key pair folder. And now I'll try to connect. Yeah, don't ask me again. Just check that box. Say connect. Okay, and now it's asking me for a password. Uh, I don't have this password, so I need to recover it. In order to recover it, we need to go back to the dialog box from before. And you see that there it says, it tells you your username, which is administrator. And then you need to get the password. For getting the password, you need to Choose the key pair file that we saved before. Just find it where you saved it and double click it like that. Now you see the 
encrypted key you decrypt your password I'm gonna send her mine just uh, copy yours copy your password uh, and after you copied it go to the remote desktop connection file where you will uh, place the password there and then press OK great now yeah check this box that says don't ask me again on this computer you verify the certificate and now we are connecting for the first time to our virtual machine you see the virtual machine is like a normal computer away from your computer it's a remote it's a remote uh, windows installation of the windows server okay so now we will need to copy the files that we prepared before to uh, the um, virtual machine and i remind you the files were uh, a collection of the settings that we will use for the robot the robot itself and our mt4 software so for that we will minimize the virtual machine which that means just double clicking this uh, bar on the top and this is my desktop behind and i placed everything here where it says vps resources you see i have the settings folder that contains the settings that we give you together with their simulations the trading robot and the pepperstone mt4 if you're with another broker you'll get uh, their broker their uh, mt4 platform so it can be the ic markets uh, mt4 platform or lmfx mt4 platform it doesn't matter you get the one from your broker so i'm just gonna take this folder copy it how do you copy it and go back here to i mean maximize my virtual machine and just paste it 